Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 16. All right, the previous episode, um, we the whole confusion of Homura, what like you know what the imposter is, who that imposter was, as a girl called Amira, who is part of the galactic, uh, I think uh, what was it called, a galactic or something? I forgot the name of the organization. But you know, like she was the imposter, and she does not have a face. Apparently, <laughs> in the end, we saw, and that whole thing, Hermit kind of got out. We got to actually defeat um, the guy who was killing um, the spider guy. You know, who later on is trying to hack us. Apparently, and also, um, uh, Hermit is still not fully. Uh, what do you call it like no her heart is not fully healed her she is still not comfortable in breaking out of her shell and she's like no we need to convince her more and I'm sure we'll be able to do this because Shiki, Shiki is there and uh, yeah but now that our ship is getting hacked that's another big problem because I think we probably need Hermit's help this time but the way she is now I think she needs to be convinced obviously Shiki I hope she he's able to convince her in this episode otherwise it will be a big problem because the ship will probably be hacked and I don't know uh, it'll be a mess so let's see what happens in this episode so uh, yeah guys this is episode number 16 of Eden Zero so without further ado let's get started all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Yeah. Spider. <laughs> Oh boy, well, <laughs> Shiki's like, ah, this is normal for me. Ah. Oh god, you, you can't even beat this guy, like, you know, in the normal way, he's hacking from somewhere remote. Oh no! Oh my god, yeah, Hermit needs to step up here. Yeah. Where is she, by the way? Okay. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, like I don't see any other way of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Moscow. <laughs> I wonder what really happened to her. Like her being so hell bent on not. <laughs> Look at his face. With her accelerator. Oh, is this like her backstory or something? Dr. Muller. Dr. Mueller. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing this happened after she um, left 
uh, Granbel, uh, like you know, after she went on her own way. All right. Okay. All right, let's see. Fireworks. Okay. Are we still in the back? Planet Newton. Planet Newton. Fifteen years ago. Mueller Royal Laboratories. Planet Newton. It's apples are from. What the hell? <laughs> It's a cannon. Using a cannon? What is Planet Hook? Full of bots, okay. Oh. Okay, it's kind of like Granville, not but not completely like it. Like you know, like a plant full of robots. All right, so that's how they're going to. Oh, so that's why the cannon they can shoot in the eat. I think so. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. So Oh, damn. We're back here. I I'm wondering what happened after that. Something must have happened for her to like... Oh, we, we saw her face for the first time. Yeah. Oh. I wonder what that button does. <laughs> Someone needs to whack this guy on his head. Can... Okay, blast it off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just as I was saying. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. Humans and bots. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. The, there's, there's a robot there. 
What's with the apples? Is that like the eater? I don't know. <laughs> okay, things are going a little too good. I think something bad might happen here. Uh, <laughs> it's snowing and then the like apples are. Oh boy. Oh. Reassigned to work on site. Oh. Oh, all the boss are going there. Set up receivers to catch the ether. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh yeah, there, there's planet hook. That's planet hook, isn't it? I think so. The apples are eaten half. Oh no, something bad is going to happen, I'm, I think. Hmm. Oh no, is, is something bad going to happen? I, I, obviously, I think so. <laughs> hmm. Oh boy, something's going to happen. Uh, this is E seven. Okay. Damn! Whoa, what the? Oh no, oh, oh here you go. I knew it, something bad is going to happen. What? Receiver is not compatible? Wait, what? Oh no! Did they like deliberately do that? Oh, that's why they transferred all of them to... Oh my god! So that's why they transferred all the robots to... What? So... So all the humans were... What? What is wrong? How the hell? Accelerated cannon. Wait, she did not realize that? Wow, oh god. Did 
this is What the? Oh, who first was? Oh my God! Oh my! What the hell is? Yo, what is this? These guys needs okay I never say this but these guys really needs to die Yeah these these type of people Wait, what's happening? Okay, thank God. Who are these people? Shut up! Oh my God, this guy needs to go too. Interstate Union Army. Well, I don't blame her. Like, <laughs> like, Hmm. Yeah.
Yeah. <clears throat> Trust yourself, okay. All right. Uh. Oh, wait, what? All right, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, it's like, damn, the yeah, you're gonna get the taste of your own medicine now. That's what's happening. <laughs> she, she's telling her coordinates. You <laughs> track down his coordinates. Oh wow, that's his ship! Yeah. Bye bye. Wait, what? Um. <laughs> okay, go capture him and throw him in jail. <laughs> That's what he deserves. <laughs> okay. Damn, this episode, okay, ah. Uh. Like, I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos as well. Um, this show, Eden Zero is quite dark at portions, I can feel that. Like, I felt the same thing within, during the whole, um, what was that, the, the, the Illiga situation, you know, like that arc, the sister arc, I kind of felt that in, in, in that as well, like the way, like, I don't know what to say, but dif different portions, it, it is quite dark and which is quite different from what fairy tale was. Um, fairy tale became dark in the like sometimes like you know and especially during the last portions of the the whole um, Elsa situation where Elsa was tortured you know that was quite dark but still like I can see like even zero is is a bit like that and they're not like you know okay that's the end or is there something else? Just a sec. No, that's the end. All right. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, so it it has been like you know, Eden Zero has been quite dark in a few situations. Now, <laughs> you know what? I actually remember now what Zaume said in the beginning. This is like this portion of the story is very like she said something like sadistic or something. I actually understand what she was trying to say. Now that this episode has ended. I really was not expecting that and especially the thing that happened in the end like them actually experimenting on her now all right so here in this episode we get to know about Herman's backstory and the people who actually used her and now in the beginning I thought like obviously I knew something bad was obviously going to happen because this is a 
tax story that she was <clears throat> thinking about and surely something bad must have happened otherwise she would not be like in this state so like i was ready i was ready like okay something bad's probably going to happen maybe like the way i thought something's going to happen is i thought maybe you know when they were going to um try out the experiment uh somehow like you know they would be under attack some humans would attack them kill them you know all the researchers would die uh and like you know that's how hermit would uh, lose faith in humanity something like that i thought it would be something like that that's why like you know when they were like you know saying like you know we want to be friends and hermits were like the researcher was like yeah we're already friends and they were like all this happy and everything i was thinking oh boy something's bad is going to happen and all of the, these people are probably going to die or something wow i was not expecting what actually happened after that like i thought a completely different scenario but it turned out to be a completely different thing and this like this thing that actually happened is a lot more darker and cruel than the scenario that i thought of you know and like yeah so first of all these people here they they were basically like like you know these researchers and all of them they're basically crazy people you know that's one thing that i could obviously say they had no agenda nothing like you know, you know usually like uh, people who kind of do these type of bad things like villains either have some kind of grudge in their past or something like you know some kind of uh, goal or something they have that's why they do these type of bad stuff but these people i doubt they had any goal i doubt they had any grudges they were just crazy people they were just bad pure evil people that just wanted to kill um, the androids and the robots just for the fun of it and just because they did not like it so what do you call these type of people as i said crazy people so they were basically crazy people and these guys they like you know like the thing that made them more dangerous is, is that they were actually intelligent and they like you know did research so like like imagine the amount of destruction that would happen if these type of like you know people make a group and start doing stuff that's what basically happened here they made up a group and they may ha started hatching a plan as to what they can do to kill off all the androids because they just didn't like how they acted as humans that was the reason like the amount of uh, like you know like stupidity but anyways like you know now they realized like the audacity they realized that they do not have enough like, you know intelligence or something they do not have enough skill to actually pull this off so what they do they recruit an android and you know gets her help gets her uh, skill and makes the thing that they use to actually destroy them now as i said like the audacity like they themselves were unable to do anything and they i don't know what to even say about this situation <clears throat> And not only that, like even after that, what they do, they they take her apart and start experimenting on her for two years. God, like I I was really genuinely pissed at these guys. Like I never usually say these type of things that uh, that I said. Like um, you know, I always think that each and every character, every villain all of them like you know usually like characters who have a certain reason for doing some even people who does evil stuff most of them have some kind of a motivation a reason a valid reason for doing that every villain like you know most of the villains in anime have that so like you know in my opinion like even villains need a second chance they deserve a second chance but like you know this is the first time that i actually felt that they they need to be killed here like you know that that, that like like i don't know like these people and especially the the main guy the, the the researcher guy the old researcher guy he he was the worst of it so yeah that's like like you know it's like the first time that i actually said that yeah these guys needs to be killed here as soon as possible because they don't deserve to even exist like i don't know
anyways okay so yeah all right one thing i am quite curious about like uh here in this episode is that uh you know like in in planet uh what was that planet uh norma yeah in planet norma it was uh rich in earth ether as far as i can remember there was like pillar falling down in blue garden it's with water ether you know like that's why there's like the waters are like floating around um in planet gilst as far as i can remember it was abandoned with wood ether so is this planet like you know the, where we saw is this abandoned in some kind of ether because we kind of saw apples floating around it's called planet newton i think so those apples were floating around i'm sure there's some kind of reason behind that uh let me know if you guys know what that actually is about is that the uh result of some kind of abandon like you know like like the plant being abandoned in some kind of ether that's why these apples were floating around or something like let me know in the comment section if you know the answer to it and okay that's one thing that i was quite curious about all right so yeah like this episode was basically her um backstory now like the real the, the thing that really made me uncomfortable in this episode was the later portion where they actually take her apart in that way and like hang her and continued experimenting on her for two years that was the main part that really made me uncomfortable and especially that old researcher who were actually like punching her and everything so damn I, I was not expecting that 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 really was a little bit uh, what can i say really made me uncomfortable god like not only that like yeah, hermit's mental you know what do you call it uh, mental condition as well at that moment like suddenly realizing that the people who you trusted with everything they are actually people like this and through your um like you know help they actually killed destroyed a whole planet and like that that was even worse i'm not sure what happened to them by the end i'm, I'm guessing they got arrested or something and i hope they never see that like you know outside world they keep being imprisoned and i don't know until they die or something like these type of people does not deserve a second chance in their life anyways okay and uh, right and then the next portion obviously we see where like you know they ask her for help shiki rebecca and all and rebecca really like you know like what can i say like really made her understand and i think that was really needed because as she said you know like these people here shiki has been living with robots for her his whole life um i have happy which is also an android and I have, we have been living together for from where we were young um obviously you know your friends here sister which both of them you know them they themselves are androids and you know wise is also like you know uh, associated with them kagura uh, uh so, sorry why the hell did i say kagura homura i'm sorry <laughs> oh, uh, homura she uh her master is valkyrie which who is also another person that you know and who is one of your comrade in arms and all of these people okay, we like you know then you know us well like you know how we have we, we are what type of people we are so like you know you can trust in us and as shiki said like you know like you you're not hurting because you have lost faith in humanity you're hurting because you know that there are good people and the fact that you cannot trust them is the thing that's hurting you the most like that's what's basically was the problem here like she knew she knew that there are good people obviously but the trauma that she had to go through 
all like the two years and her being betrayed in that bad manner in the in that brutal way all of that thing you know like that made it like a what, what can i say like that that made her uh what do you call it unconsciously rich like you know fear humans even though she knew that those people were evil and there are definitely good people so the inability inability of to actually trust in humans when she actually realized that there are definitely good humans because of her trauma was the thing that actually tormented her she wanted she wanted to trust in people but her trauma was not letting her do so she was unable to do that and that's what made her actually so sad and you know she was crying because of that like uh in in the previous episode as well like in the previous episode i was a little bit like you know it kind of really like ma- made me feel a little bit odd where i i saw that hermit kind of accepted them you know helped them came back and then said that no i'm like you know i'm going back like uh leave me to the place i were was and she goes back and i i was thinking like okay like she kind of accepted them but then why again did she suddenly like you know go back into her shell and this episode kind of like you know answered my question here because it was the dilemma that was actually eating her like you know like in, in digitalis she really did not trust any of them that was a fact she did not trust i neither shiki no one but then after everything that happened in digitalis shiki saved them you know everything like all the things happened and they were in trouble she saw shiki uh, like you know fighting and everything and she decided to help them like, you know she actually realized at that moment that these people are not like those people these are act genuinely good people so that's why she helped them and then she when she came back her trauma kick, kicked in and she even after realizing that these people were good people she said that no i'm 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 going back i cannot i cannot trust humans and she goes back and like you know goes back into her shell and that's why like as i said like you know it kind of i felt kind of odd actually thinking that she helped them and then why did she again like start rejecting them this was the reason like you know like so she accepted them but the fact that she knows that they're good people but still unable to uh, believe them was the thing that actually made her go back into her shell and her actually you know becoming sad and hurting inside that's what happened here and that was the reason why like, you know she behaved like this and uh, yeah hopefully everything will work out fine now because you know uh like she realized that yeah like i you know like i need i have no need to fear because there are people around me who will protect me and help me whenever i am in a problematic situation or something and uh, yeah and uh, it was funny to see the, the the spider guy like you know his spaceship and all and <laughs> he actually um uh, you know like as i said like in the previous episode like usually like I, obviously i am i i don't know anything about hacking but i i know this as a fact that whenever you try to hack someone there's like usually a path that kind of opens up to which you kind of hack so if the other party has a better hacker than you you know that person can hack you back through that path and you know locate you like you know get your location and stuff that's what basically hermit did i'm guessing <laughs> and she basically you know like started blowing out fireworks <laughs> and he got so freaking scared that yeah she pissed himself and uh, now i'm guessing i don't know what's going to happen to him probably the authorities will get to know and will arrest him or something or i don't know <laughs> but yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction and again like you know i said this before but eden zero is like you know a little bit darker uh and yeah this is like a good what can i say like it has kind of has everything you know happy portions sad portions shown and portions dark portions and um, i'm really like you know enjoying myself 
and even though the <laughs> like you know these type of portions these type of dark situation kind of makes me uncomfortable but still that's what they are supposed to make you feel you know like if you see a very dark portion of an anime and you don't bother you know get bothered then like you know then i i will say that the anime kind of failed to make you feel that in emotions that it intended to make you feel so it's kind of a fail so obviously if if dark portions like you know if, if these type of portions come out and it's bound to make you feel bothered and that's what basically happened and uh, yeah so as i said like you know like um i like this this way because it's not too dark you know but neither too tame it's kind of in the middle and it's like a good balance and i you know like i think that's perfectly fine so yeah guys so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to Eden zero episode number um 16 i really was not expecting this type of an episode and i really like you know <laughs> i actually realized now what zaume actually meant by the statement that she said and i'm definitely going to take her advice from the you know, upcoming episode whatever she says or whatever foreshadowing she gives us like you know <laughs> i really don't bother to like you know pay attention to what she said like you know she said that this will be sadistic i was like okay like oh what what can even happen like yeah and then this episode comes out and i was like okay i get it now <laughs> i'm going to keep pay attention to her <laughs> like you know like you know uh, seek her warnings from <laughs> the future episodes <laughs> whatever foreshadowing she gives us so yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching that was episode number 16 of eden zero so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'm definitely checking them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching um so most probably from the next episode uh probably a new arc is going to start because i'm guessing the hermit arc is over i'm not sure we'll see from the next episode so see you guys next week with another eden zero episode so until then goodbye and have a nice day